Okay, so this is the schematic that I found online. There's a couple other ones, but this one is the one that works for my t particular vehicle, the second gen uh, Ram or Ram charger. The only difference is, is there's no violet line. The black line is the one that comes in from the uh, vacuum supply. And the red line is actually a lighter. It might have been red at one point, but it's just a lighter brown. But all the rest of them are the same. So you can go off of this schematic and, and the numbers. Uh, you just have to pay attention to uh, the number four is the red hose that gets blocked off. And that's where you get your reference for all the numbers from. So uh, this is the schematic. Let's move forward. All right, so under the hood, you have this gray line and this black line. The black line is the source, the uh, vacuum source that plugs into the back of the manifold. This runs the heater valve. When you turn the heater on, it opens the for hot water. They go into that little rubber plug that's attached to this main body here. So when you pull this out, it comes in. So the issue that you have on my um, machine compared to the picture is that the colors aren't the same. So this is the gray line coming in. Here's the light and dark green. Here's a dark brown. And then this one, this is supposed to be red, I guess, but it's not, it's like a lighter brown. But um, yeah, so the gray, when it gets underneath the dash, ties into one of these greens because it's part of the heater system. And so uh, when I was working on my heater core, it became an issue because I give a little bit of a tug on those vacuum lines and the vacuum went away. So uh, what I found underneath there, here's some remnants of the pieces. All those hoses, those colored hoses, aren't going to this, basically it's a plug. So it was one solid piece. It's a, it's a, must have been rubber at one point, but now it's just deteriorated beyond. The other hose on the other side is actually a clear vacuum one has six little nubs that stick out about it eighth inch and they're about eighth inch apart i bought some vacuum hose this is eighth inch i believe i cut them about three inches long and when you you can slide them over the little piece of hard clear plastic manifold part and they're close enough together and this barely slides over you have to lube it to where when they're all smashed together they kind of make their own little manifold so they're tight together so the, you could barely get them in, but they'll go in. So you end up with this little, basically a manifold, if you will. Then you can plug all of your lines into there. So I'll get up underneath there, I'll show you. All right, so what I did was, when I got up in here, this bundle of vacuum lines was up underneath the, the plastic here. So I reached over here, you can see them. I pulled them out so I could get to them. And then I just plugged them all in this clear plastic piece here in relationship to the photo. Like I said, the only difference is, is there is no red, it's a light brown. Now this red one, it doesn't get used. So I just cut a piece on there and I shoved the hose in there. So yeah, they all slide on there nice and tidy. They stay pretty tight. So if you use that picture and then you just cut this little extra length here, they hang down a little bit more, but it's easier to get to. So that is the Gen 2 out of 1987. This would probably be this. I'm sure it's the same for the pickup and the uh, Ram Charger. So yeah, I hope that helps.